Hey, this morning in saving you money, you want to cash in on Uncle Sam? Well, you better hurry because time is running out to take advantage of tax credits made available through the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act. Problem solver Susan Hogan joins us now with the details. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Vince. This is really a great time. Believe it or not, yes, 2009 is winding down, and this is a real good time. The IRS is reminding us there are tax incentives out there to really take advantage of things like home improvements, um, college credits, if you're a first-time home buyers as well. These are really a good time to do it. However, I should also mention they all have expiration yeah, dates. Well, you know, one would think that this would have expired on tax day, April 15th. Absolutely, but not a chance at all. Let me go over a few things that are going to be expiring sure. and things that you can really take advantage of. We've got the first time home buyer tax credit. Now, the government just expanded the credit for 2009 to taxpayers who didn't own a home during the past three years and buy a home before December 1st. They can receive a credit up to $8,000. But let me mention that you've got to close on this home by November 30th. Four. Absolutely. And unlike last year's first-time home buyer's tax credit, which was $7,500, you had to pay that back. It was like a loan. Right. This time, $8,000, it is yours to keep. In your pocket. Absolutely, that and is you can huge. use that right off the bat for some home improvements. Yes, you can. Keep the economy going. Hey, what about people who make their homes more energy efficient? That is so big. You know, everything is all about green, all green. these days. Right. Absolutely. And this is, this is why I always say there's really something in it for someone. If you want to do home improvements mm-hmm. like windows or insulation, anything that's going to make your home more energy efficient, the government increased credit to 30% of the cost of improvements and raises the maximum credit limit to $1,500 for improvements done in 2009 and in 2010. I want to mention this too. Say that you can't afford to do all of your home improvements this year. Say you want to do some window replacements. Do half this year. You can still apply for the credit and then do the other half next year. You have up to $1,500. So, you know, take advantage of it this year and next year too. But certainly huge. By the time you add all this up, I mean, if I'm quickly doing it in my head, we're close to 15 grand by the time this thing's done. You really are. And I think, it, you know, as I said, there's really something in it for everyone. Mm-hmm. Whether you are a renter, then you can do things like going out and buying energy efficient appliances. The, right now, stores are giving you such great rebates. Yeah. Take advantage of it as well. The other thing, too, is the tax credits for new car purchases. Right, absolutely. We just, you know, what, you know, what we just went through with the government's program. Absolutely, with the cash for clunkers. If, even if you didn't take advantage of the cash for clunkers mm-hmm. and you're in it for a new car, go for it. There's a tax break on new car purchases. If you made a qualified new car purchase after February 16th, 2009, and before January 1st, 2010, you can deduct not only the state and local sales tax, but the excise tax as well. It's huge. Okay, Susan, we're running out of time. Any other last deals that we should know about? Tax credits for college kids. If you've got a few kids in college, it is up to $2,500 per student. Mm -hmm. So take advantage of that. Go on to foxprovidence.com. I have all spelled out for you right there, too. Fantastic. Susan, as always, thank you so much. Thanks, Vince. Hey, Michelle, what's